Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So welcome again to Waste or Worth It Wednesday. I've missed you or at least I've missed filming these videos for you guys. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about some new products that e.l.f. recently launched. And these are the three items that I picked up. I can't find the top. Give me one second. So I picked up the new foundation. This is the e.l.f. Foundation Serum and this contains broad spectrum and an SPF of 25 and I have the color medium. So this is also the blush that I got and this is in the color Peach Perfection. This is actually a mousse blush type of consistency if that makes sense. Joe, I can't think of the word right now, sorry. But this is the blush that um, I got. So there's another one, which is more of a pink one, but you guys know that I love my peach blushes, so this is the one that I got. And I also picked up the e.l.f. blending brush, which looks like this. It's sturdy because I used it to demonstrate how this foundation applied. So I saw that e.l.f. was coming out with um, a new foundation, a brush, and a blush, and I'm already a fan of e.l.f. makeup, so <clears throat> I decided to order them and, and let you guys know if these products are a waste of your money or if they are totally worth it. So really quickly, I'm going to touch base on the e.l.f. Foundation Serum. Again, this is in the color medium. Um, I'm just going to read to you off the box what it says, um, what it does. So this is a luminous finish uh, foundation which helps brighten skin and it minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines. Um, let's see. So all you have to do is really just shake it a little bit, apply it to your face. And it says directions apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply at least every two hours. So it is a foundation, but it's more of like it says a serum. I mean, it has some sort of tint to it. Now, I knew off the bat that this wasn't going to be something that was going to be up my alley because I am more of a medium to full coverage type of gal. Now if you are a person that likes like BB creams or tinted moisturizers, I think you're definitely going to like this. Um, I will show you a demonstration in a little bit so you can see how it wears on my skin. This is what I'm wearing on my skin today and I think it looks pretty good on camera. In person it doesn't look bad but it's not full coverage. My concealer just helped it a little bit more so I think that played a factor in it. Nonetheless you will see a um, like how it looks on my skin before my concealer. Now there are only three shades available unfortunately for this new um, foundation serum. I don't know if they're going to be coming out with any new colors which I think they should they have um, they have them in the color light medium and then dark I got medium because it looked like it matched my skin tone and it's pretty good it does have a little bit of a yellow tint to it which I don't have that many yellow undertones but it worked out as I said I think it looks pretty okay so I mean I don't have much to say about this foundation um, I do like it maybe for the days that I don't want to be super glam. There are days, like Sundays, those are either like my no makeup days or my very minimal makeup days unless I'm going to go out somewhere. So maybe for days that I'm going to be out in the sun and I really just want to wear very minimal makeup, I think this is going to be perfect for me because it does give me a little bit of coverage but it has an SPF of 25 which is amazing for the sun rays to protect your skin and all that stuff you know that's very important to always wear sunscreen underneath your makeup to prevent any skin cancer or anything like that so again if you are a person that likes tinted moisturizers or BB creams you're going to love this because it got, it gives you the most natural finish and it's not oily I am super oily and this is not leaving me with any oily residue. I don't know how to explain the finish. I would say that it's like a like a satin type of finish. I didn't apply any um, powders, but my skin doesn't feel oily or or slippery or anything like that. So the finish is really nice on the foundation. Another thing that is amazing is that it comes with a pump, which a lot of us love foundations that come with a pump just because it makes it easier on us and it's not as messy. 
and the packaging is really cute really sleek it's simple and to the point so i like the packaging overall um i think this foundation is worth it again if you are looking for a natural foundation that is going to give you minimal coverage then definitely pick this up i believe it was only six dollars now i'm going to touch base on the elf blending brush now when i first saw this i was a little bit nervous i was like this is a blending brush i don't know how this is going to work as you can see it's totally flat but it is a little thick on the sides and then it's just really packed on with bristles so my first impression was like oh this thing is so tiny i really thought it was going to be a lot bigger but as you can see it's about half of the size of my palm which is really small for a makeup brush but out of all the things that i got this has to be my absolute favorites by the way i have been testing these products for about two weeks now so i feel like i can give you an honest opinion on how i feel about them this brush has so many purposes i know that it's a blending brush which i mean you can blend anything away but my first thought was to just use it for the foundation as you will see in the demonstration, I apply the foundation to the back of my hand, picked it up with a brush, and then applied it, and then just blended it out. At the beginning, I did kind of struggle when I first, first tried it because I'm not used to these type of brushes. I'm used to either a flat top kabuki brush or a beauty blender, but this gives you the most flawless application. It's pretty amazing. What I like to do is I just like to take it like this, and I like to just go like this. So kind of like if I'm painting my face, I go like this. And then I'll bring it down and I'll swirl it around. This does not leave me any streaks whatsoever. The bristles are so soft and they're so well compacted in here. It just makes it so easy to apply your foundation. Another thing, um, well when I, was first when I first tested this brush out, I wanted to see how much I can use out of it and literally you can probably apply your whole face with this brush only so I applied my foundation I didn't show you in the demo but I will show you in some other videos as I have coming up just so you can see that this is a multi-use type of brush it's amazing to get right underneath the eyes to blend out the concealer you can even spray a little bit of fix plus to help you blend it out but I like to just pack on my concealer and then go like this blend it out and you're done on the chin down the bridge of your nose since it's kind of a little bit sla not slanted but it's like this you know what I mean and then I like to just bring it here and then just blend it out amazing I also use this to set my powder all you have to do is dip your powder go like this leave it on if you're trying to bake your concealer you're done swipe it off your concealer is on and then you can also use this to contour the hollows of your cheeks. Just take your bronzer, take it right up in there, chisel out your cheekbones, and then bring it up, and it'll do all the blending for you. I love this brush. It's perfect for us people that have very nice large foreheads because it'll get right in there and just blend everything nicely. Um, if you want to also contour your jawline, it's amazing for that. Blush, you can either just go like this and just swipe on your blush. And it blends it out really nicely another thing you can do is just apply your highlight you can just grab your highlight pack it on and then dust it off a little bit and you're set so like i said you can really use this brush to do your whole face again it's personal preference some people don't like to use a certain type of brush but i honestly love it for everything this is what I've been using and I just think it's such great quality. This one retails for $3 if I am correct. I just think e.l.f. is stepping up their brush game so much and I think it's amazing because e.l.f. is so incredibly affordable and I mean it's it's a good quality brush I would pay more than three dollars for this I'm not gonna lie it's such an amazing brush if you don't have this I think this is a perfect brush for an everyday um, makeup application or anything like that and again with three dollars you just you can't go wrong and then last but not least is their new blushes now the packaging again super cute super sleek and it's very like high-end it has a really nice metallic finish and then you see just the name here elf I don't know if you can see it because it's dirty now and then on the back you get tons of 
like color or you can see what color your blush is which is another great idea especially if they're planning to bring it out in the market like Target or Walmart that way you can see what color is the blush and these are true to their colors now these are cream blushes and honestly I was a little bit hesitant to pick this up because I do not like cream blushes I don't like them I've tried them and I just don't like them but I wanted to give it a try and see if maybe it worked out for me. As I mentioned earlier, there are only two colors. Um, this one, again, is in the color Peach Perfection. Now, the blush, eh, I don't know that I exactly love it. The first time that I tried it, it went on really blotchy for me. I'll give you a swatch. I don't know... I was hope I mean I think these are the ones that go from cream to powder. I just couldn't get it to work for me. This is the color right here. It is such a pretty peach color. I love these types of blushes. I just I don't know. I I didn't like it on myself. I didn't like how it wore. I took it with my fingers and then I applied it on the apples of my cheeks. And I took a sibling brush. I didn't use this one because I knew that this just wasn't a good match. So I did take a sibling brush and I tried to blend it out and as I was trying to blend it out I was even lifting up some of my foundation and then you can see my skin. Um, so then I reapplied a little bit of my foundation, I let it set and again I tried it and it just, it really didn't work out for me. I tried to apply it today and I just, I had the same problem. It just doesn't stay on my skin and it didn't really show up that much. I think maybe this is targeted more for people that are really fair. Um, if you are medium to dark skin, I mean, I don't think it, it may not show up on you. Obviously, you know, don't take my word for it because it didn't work out for me. It might work out for you. I think these were only $3 a pop. I'm definitely going to keep trying it and keep messing with it. If you guys have any recommendations on how, el on how else I can apply this blush, Please let me know because I really love this color and I would hate for it to, you know, just go to waste. So let me know if you have any other recommendations on how I can use it. Um, this one, I mean, it's it's a fifth. I don't think it's a waste of your money um, because it is a good product. I just, I guess I don't know how to use it. So if you guys want to help me and show me how to use a cream blush, I would love to hear your guys' opinions. So, yeah. So now that I've touched base with pretty much everything, um, we're going to go ahead and move on to the demonstration just so you can see how the foundation applies to my skin. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation. I have nothing but primer. This is the e.l.f. foundation serum and this is in the color medium. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And I'm also going to be using the new brush, which is the e.l.f. blending brush. This is what it looks like. And I am just going to shake it. Shake it. And I'm going to take about two pumps, más o menos. This is pretty liquidy, so just be careful. As you can see, it's super runny. So I'm going to take that on the brush, and I'm just going to dab it on the face. And then I'm going to start blending it in. And I'm actually going to grab just a little bit more and apply it to the areas where I need um, foundation. Now this color is actually not too bad. It's a, I think it's a good match for my skin tone. I don't look too washed off or pale or yellow or anything like that, so.
Now this foundation is not full coverage because it is a serum. It's going to provide very light coverage. So I'm just going to take a little bit more and apply it to areas where I need that extra coverage. Just right here and right here. So this is how the foundation looks on my skin. So as you can see, the foundation applied pretty nicely on the skin. It did go on smoothly, um, but as you can see, or I don't know if you can even see it through the camera, but it is not full coverage as I mentioned earlier. So this is definitely going to be a very natural finish. I know that my concealer might make an effect or it might look a little bit different because I do have pretty heavy concealer on. Um, I do like the foundation and I think it's a very nice texture. It has a really nice texture to it. I just don't like the coverage for me. So I think that is everything. Um, I kind of want you guys to see for yourselves about these products. Um, I would definitely recommend the brush. That is one of my favorites. And I do like the foundation. The blush is the only thing that I kind of struggled with. I'm in between liking it and not liking it. I will definitely keep you guys updated um, whether or not it worked out for me. So that is it for today's Waste or Worth It Wednesdays video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And as always, leave me your opinions in the comment section and we can have a little chat. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.